Hey everybody, thanks for watching Dairy Farm Kind of Life. I'm Lauren, if you haven't watched our channel before. And to recap, my husband Eddie and I milk cows here in Ontario on our family dairy farm. We milk about 60, 65 cows. And I thought it was time to give you an official milk house tour, including everything we would change if we were to do it all over again. We've been milking cows in here for a year and a half now, and there are definitely some things we would change. Not a lot, but a little, especially in the milk house. So I'm gonna show you that now. This video is sponsored by Major Dairy AI Services Limited. So these are the actual drawings of our milk house. So on this side you have the main entrance, the barn below to the right is the calf yard, and then up top is the bag yard or our feed yard. So this is the cooler room and this is our milk cooler here in the office. And then next is the, it's a storage, but it's our bathroom. And we have a little electrical storage room there. And this is our utility room. And then you can see the rest of the milk cooler comes through the wall there. So that's it. So I'll bring you in through our main entrance here, which is where our milk trucker would come enter. And this is the cooler room. So this is just from the entrance of that main door. This is our milk tank where all the milk is stored. That's part of it just sticking through the wall into the utility room on the other side of that wall. And we have our buffer tank which is the tank that the milk will go into if the main cooler is doing a wash cycle. We milk with robots, so if we want the cows to continue milking while the milk tank is being emptied and washed, then we have to have a buffer tank for the milk to go into, which will later drain into the main tank and get washed on its own. These are the main control units. And then over here we have a sink where our milk trucker can wash his hands and some family pictures here. This is a hose where the milk trucker can wash his boots. And then this here is a, the flap where the milk hose comes through to the milk truck. So it opens up all the way through and the milk gets collected or it gets connected to the tank and collected into the truck. There's a panel here where the milk trucker can write down the milk pickups each time. And that's better for this room. Now coming through this hallway, I'm going to take you around the corner. That goes into the barn, that door. And this here is our office. I'll take you inside. So as you can see, we have three steps up. And the reason for that being we wanted to be able to look up over the cows through our barn through these large windows that we can see what's going on in the barn. That was Eddie's idea. I think he had seen that at another farm. So we can see to the robot straight ahead, special needs pen and calving pen over there. So it's really handy to be able to see those things while you're working in the office. I just want to take a minute here to say thank you so much for your support. We had um, a video a couple weeks ago really take off and for us and we were very excited about that. And we're doing this in hopes to bridge the gap between farm and table and to just kind of shed some light on the normalcy of the lives we live. And it's really encouraging when you get lots of views and you, you see your videos circulating and you just you get some interaction and some comments. So thank you so much. We really liked the 1,000 subscriber promise, so we are gonna do that again. Can you guys please help us get to 5,000 subscribers and we have a video in the works of what we're gonna release then. I'll reveal that to you in another video, but if you could share the, this channel and this video with your friends and the more sharing that goes on, the more screens we get onto. Liking the video helps YouTube to know, oh, okay, people like this content. We're gonna show it to more people. Commenting does the same thing. The more comments and interaction and of course views the videos get, the more likely YouTube is to suggest it to more people and therefore get us out there more. So if you can help us do that, we would be so grateful and we'll put out a video that is kind of an exclusive 5,000 subscriber video. Coming out of the office, you can see we've hung up some drawings for our barn here. Just kind of 
a nice reminder for when we were in the building stages. And then in this door straight ahead is the washroom. It's pretty simple. It's just a sink and a toilet. So coming out of the washroom here brings us again back here and I'll bring you into the utility room straight through this nice diamond glass swinging door. Does it feel like you're in a restaurant? So it's really loud in this room, which is one thing I'll touch on later for what we would change. But as you can see, this is the rest of our milk cooler. So most of it is on this side of the wall, which is to be able to make the front room smaller because we really don't want anything in there except for the sinks and the tank and anything the milk trucker needs. We have a small fridge here, which we use to store colostrum and dog bones and then vaccines in the fridge and any milk that we're keeping for new calves. This is our bottle rack organizer system. We have bottles on the bottom and then nipples organized from tight, medium, and loose to make it easier for anyone who's helping out. And then our soaps and mixers and stuff on the top shelf. This is our main utility sink. And as you can see, we have these filters on top. This is the main filtration system for the milk. So the milk flows through these filters and the filters switch back and forth. So we clean them twice a day. Over here on the other side of the cooler, we have our hot water heater and some chemicals that are needed. They pump through to the robots and teat dip and all that fun stuff. And a storage cupboard for things like gloves, medications, some tools, this and that. And we have some drawers here for, well, I'll show you. Colostrum packs and Ziploc bags to store colostrum, cloths, towels, and rags, tags and a tagger, some IV lines, hose nozzles, tape, miscellaneous stuff, batteries for our scale, more miscellaneous stuff, and gloves. And then we have our milk replacer and our scale for measuring out the milk replacer and then the water softener unit here. So this unit up here is the cooling unit. It cools the milk in the cooler and I believe it agitates it as well. It's really loud when it's on and it puts off a lot of heat. This is the vacuum pump that runs the robots. So it's running a lot of the time or most of the time and it's also pretty loud. This is our pressure washer and our calf feeding wagon, which you've seen many times before, and some more storage shelving. And then this is the air compressor for the robots. Also loud when it's on, but not too bad. We have our calf feeding board here on this door, which shows the number of calves we have, how much milk they're getting, what day they were born, and any information needed for calf feeding. So through this door is our little electrical room, and it also leads again through the barn. We have some more storage in here. We also keep our bagged feed in here in our milk replacer. If you're not using that Maple View Agri, you should. It is the best milk replacer out there. There are many, many females that sell it. And if you haven't yet, you should ask about it. We use the Maple View Advanced Calf Milk Replacer and get many compliments on how well our calves look. We're super happy with how healthy they are. And they did not pay me to say this, I promise. Um, our, our calf pellets and yeah just that our huge electrical panel is here and some extra storage stuff some water softener salt some ice salt dog food uh, we have in-floor heat in the milk house so that's all run through here and this is our hand milker if you want to check that out then check out this video on the screen now I mentioned it is super loud in this room that's one thing we would change instead of having a separate electrical room we would probably have sectioned off part of this milk house and just put all the loud things in a separate room it's not too serious but when you're in here with kids and it's loud and it's, it's kind of hard to hear so that's one thing we would change for sure is we would put the cooling unit the vacuum pump and the air compressor probably. See, that's the vacuum pump that just kicked in. So we would put those things in a different room. Not necessarily the air compressor because it's not too bad and it's not running all the time, but definitely the cooling unit up high and the vacuum pump that runs the robots because those things are really loud. And actually the cooling unit is sometimes installed outside. It was kind of recommended to us to put it inside to utilize the heat from it, but it gets so hot in the milk house we have heated floor also, which we really like. We like that it dries the floor really quickly and keeps bacteria down. And we would definitely put the, the cooling unit outside if we were to build again, and we might be able to do that one day. Another thing that we would change is we didn't realize quite how big our bathroom would be 
from the drawings, it's kind of hard to tell from a drawing, so we would maybe just bump the wall in a foot or two to make the electrical room a little bit bigger. It wouldn't give us that much storage, but we just find we don't need such a big bathroom. And then there's just one more thing that I'll show you that we would change, but it's not really on us. It has to do with the plumbing and this pipe here drains down and it's almost like there's it's not big enough or there's an elbow underneath or something because the water squirts back up through the in between the black and the white pipe and as you can see it's causing this green algae growth stuff on the floor then there's this like film on the door so it's just kind of unfortunate we were actually going to put a washing machine in this spot beside the sink but with all that water squirting out we decided not to because it would just wreck the outside of the washing machine and we didn't find it was imperative to have a washing machine in the milk house anyway. Time for an update on Obama. Yeah, so the Chia Pet um, is not doing that good, I don't think. It's been like three weeks, or maybe four, and there's only a few little sprouts coming in. So there's just some seeds sprouting here and here. We'll try for another week or two. If nothing comes of it, then uh, we'll redo it. the Obama Chia Pet is a fail. Can I see? I was I was kind of excited what it was gonna look like. Yeah, no. So guys, if you ever had a chia pet, let us know if we're doing something wrong. We fill the water up at the top every day. I'm sure that's what the instructions said to do, and uh, it's just not panning out the way we wanted it to. <laughs> okay, so I said what I would change in the milk house. I want to know what you would change. Actually, I said what we would change. I was speaking for both of us, but maybe you have some different ideas. Would you change anything in here? I would not change anything in here. I like the design of it. I like how you go from the entrance to where the bathroom, the main dairy barn is, the utility room. I feel like there's no wasted space. I don't feel like there's any extra space. And uh, the ceiling height is nice. And, how how uh, high are they? 10? The ceiling height's 10 feet. Yeah, I think so. And I was recommended to not go any lower. I was actually recommended to go a little higher than what we did but I wouldn't want to because it'd be tougher to clean. More and space to clean, yeah. More space to heat and kind of unnecessary. What about in here? Any changes? The bathroom we find is just a little bit big. We decided we didn't want to have a barn shower. Hmm. We probably have room for a barn shower the way it is. So maybe in the future that's good to have it this size, but we feel no need to have a barn shower. So yeah, this room is probably a little bit bigger than it sh should be. We would maybe move that back wall over one foot and then give a little more room to the uh, electrical room. What about in here, Eddie? What would you change? I don't think I'd change anything. Um, we had enough room for all our equipment. We had extra space over here to put a shelf, which is great. So uh, if we didn't have room for stuff like that, after the equipment was in, I guess I'd say we needed it bigger, but we find we have lots of room to prep bottles and feed calves. One day there could be a larger cooler in here, so we got room to come a couple more feet this way. We got lots of room with ceiling height. We could put a, a bigger cooler in height-wise. Um, so I think we're fine that way. The only thing we would maybe change in this room is putting our cooling unit outside. We thought it was a good idea to put it inside to use, utilize the heat that comes off of that, which is a, quite a bit of heat. Um, to warm up this room, but what we find is it gets way too hot in here in the summertime. It's honestly unbearable. I wouldn't say I would rather have this in here and not the in-floor heat. I think I would rather have the in-floor heat and that thing outside. The in-floor heat is just such a beautiful heat. The concrete's warm. As soon as your, you know, your work boots are on it, it warms your work boots up, it warms your feet up. Um, you can tell Piper loves it. Um, so anyways, that's the only thing I would change in here is maybe put the cooling unit outside. If anybody's thinking about doing a new milk house, talk to a few people. Um, you can utilize that heat instead of doing in-floor heat and not do in-floor heat at all. And then, and then maybe put little fans in the walls that push the heat from this room to the other rooms, like the office and the front entrance. But honestly, I prefer the in-floor heat. All that we would change in here is the fact that our bathroom could be a foot narrower and that this room would have been a foot longer. And I guess that would have given us a little more space for storage, but essentially it's fine for what we need it for. So this is our double filter system for the robots. So it was recommended by Gia, our dealer that put the robots in, to have a double filter system. So when you change the filter, the light that's off is, so this filter is not being used right now, and milk is pumping through this filter. 
So if you have a double filter system, it just makes it easy to change the filter. So I'm going to change this one right now. So that about sums up our Milk House tour. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting our channel and supporting dairy. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, I encourage you to please do so and ask you to please do so. It helps our channel get recognized and helps us to grow. I'd love to get on more screens of people who don't know much about dairy farming at all. So in order to do that, I need your help. Also, leave us a comment. We would love to know what you thought about our Milk House tour, what you would change. And yeah, we hope to see you next time.